Good morning. Happy Thursday. Uh, it is a happy Thursday because I'm flying back to England later on this evening, um, which sadly means I won't be able to do a watch along tonight. And we know I'm the king of watch alongs right now. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to do the Wolves game tonight because I'll land about 10 minutes before they kick off, which is um, which is kind of ironic, actually, because I'm actually landing at Birmingham Airport, which is near Wolverhampton. And I'm actually going to be near Wolverhampton for the next four nights. But um, next week, next Thursday, I will do the return leg. Um, but Liverpool went crashing out. That is the main news as we speak. Um, the current European champions have crashed out. And it was at the hands of a dodgy goalkeeper. Mohamed Salah, as you can see on screen, um, was absolutely shocking last night. And... Um, it was a bit harsh on Liverpool, if I'm being honest. They should have been out of sight in the 90 minutes. Um, they had 34 shots on goal in total. Um, but again, a goalkeeper has come back to haunt them. And, um, and Jurgen Klopp um, was fuming. That's not the greatest picture, by the way. Apologies for that. Um, I should have checked that before I'd done it, but I do apologise. But, um, but yeah, Jurgen Klopp was left fuming. Um, again, he has seen a goalkeeper absolutely take liberties. Um, especially when they got the second goal. Firmino with the goal, um, at that point, you're thinking, OK, cool, there's only going to be one winner of this game, and that is going to be Liverpool. They're going to see it through. Um, they're going to be sweet. If anything, they'll get another uh, because Atletico have to attack because they're losing the game. And then Adrian happened. <laughs> I mean, if you're a Liverpool fan, listen, you can't be too disheartened. Um, obviously, uh, your current European champions, your um that pitch is not great either. Listen, I am so sorry. It is two o'clock in the morning currently in Spain. Um so yeah, I do apologize. I've been waiting for the watch along to process for over an hour before I recorded this. Um so I should have double checked and treble checked. So apologies, it won't happen again. Um but yeah Adrian happened and you know we see the final Carrius um he decided to just do stupid things in the final against Madrid. Then Liverpool came back the following season and were like, nah, we're having that trophy. And um, and this time round, it was kind of mad because Liverpool should have won that game in 90 minutes. And Atletico dug in. Um, they should, or listen, let's be real. Atletico should have been 1-0 up inside 15 seconds. And um, Diego Costa missed a great chance. They started so quickly. But again... A goalkeeping error from Adrian. That geezer is absolutely clueless. And um, it's no coincidence that since he's been in goal, Liverpool keep losing football matches. It's also no coincidence that since I've been doing watch-alongs for Liverpool, they lose matches. Um, I didn't do the Bournemouth game at the weekend, but they lost uh, last night. I did a watch-along. I predicted them to win. They lost against Chelsea. I did a watch-along. I predicted them to win. They lost against Watford. I did a watch along. I predicted them to win. I am the curse of Liverpool right now. And um and yeah, they are crashing out of um of the Champions League. And do you know what? In a way it was kind of harsh, but at the same time, they weren't the uh, the all singing, all dancing. Yes, they did have a lot of chances. They weren't clear cut chances. Oblak was decent, he made some good saves. Um Simeone was on the pitch at full time or just before full time. It was in extra uh, added time. Uh, they thought they'd nicked it um, and Saul was offside. What a header, by the way. What a header. Um, and he pinged it in the top bin. Simeone was about to knee slide across, across Anfield and uh, they ruled that off. But but like I said, um, it was a weird game. It was a great game. Don't get me wrong. Oxlade Chamberlain, boy, I miss that guy. That guy, how have we let him go to Liverpool? And he was absolutely fantastic on the night. And um, like I said, Mohamed Salah, he wasn't fantastic at all. He had a couple of decent chances and he skipped inside two or three players in the second half, pinged one over the bar. Um, Mane had a couple of chances trying to do an Aubameyang with a bicycle kick, etc., etc. But um, the first one he did with a bicycle kick, I feel like he should have just laid that off to Salah, just headed it back down, Christian header. Salah running in on the left peg. I think he would have buried that and that would have been curtains, but he didn't do that. And um, and yeah, the uh, the third goal, uh, Morata clean through. And I didn't realise how quick Morata was, by the way. He was absolutely rapid. Literally left Joe Gomez for dead. Um, clean through on goal. Do you expect Adrian to make a save? Probably not. 
and he didn't. And Morata was jumping around in front of the 3,000 travelling fans um, who have come over from Madrid, which, again, in itself is laughable because how have they been allowed to leave Madrid to come to England um, when Madrid's apparently on lockdown? I don't get it. Um, I'm just hoping that later on uh, this evening when I get to Malaga, that Malaga to Birmingham is going to be all right because I need to see my missus. I ain't seen her for a month. So, yeah, that's going to be lit. And uh, I will be doing a stream when I get there. Um, literally about 10 o'clock at night, I'll be doing a live stream. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, UK time, obviously. And uh, the morning video will be out as normal. But um, I also wanted to say as well, um, a massive, massive thank you to every single person who watched the watch along last night. That was lit. Me and Chig, big up my boy Chig, Guna Eagle Eye, link in the description. Go subscribe to his channel. <coughs> Excuse me, go and do that right away. Um, well over 18,000 live views on that video, um, on that live stream. We had over 10K because we were streaming on Facebook as well. So over 10K on Facebook as well, which is pretty damn lit. And um, it was nice to actually sit there and watch a game of football of two absolutely quality football teams when Arsenal was supposed to be playing. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm shattered, by the way, so I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Um, but Arsenal was supposed to be playing. It was called off. It was postponed because of the virus and health risk, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we had a chilled stream. It was really nice. The comments were lit. Um, it was just friendly. Everything was sweet. The views were lit. And uh, we had a good laugh. And it was... Um, it was just nice to watch a football match with two world-class teams. And a lot of Arsenal fans didn't want Diego Simeone. Um, I really wanted him. I thought he'd be sick for Arsenal. Um, his passion's immense. Um, the way he's got that team rocking and without the ball, they are unbelievable. Uh, Kieran Trippier, who used to play for Tottenham, um, he was exceptional. Whipping balls in the box. Defensively, he was solid. He kept Mane in his pocket pretty much. But, but yeah... Um, Liverpool crash out and I'm not one of these Arsenal fans that's going to go jumping up and down from the rooftops about it at the end of the day I've seen people who have social media before I did this stream going oh well that's failure they failed listen you're winning a title so good luck to you uh, you're current European champions until May um, and I'm in no position to laugh at that so listen I wish I was in Liverpool's position right now but I am not um, but anyway Wolverhampton Wanderers um, they are taking on Olympiacos tomorrow um and this guy what a baller uh it could be his night um i'd love him at arsenal i would absolutely love this geezer at arsenal um he's such a hard working player Raul Jimenez, and um the price they paid for him was just so dirt cheap and this is what makes me laugh because the owner of olympiakos has come out and said that he's contracted coronavirus and blah 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 um, and he's been in contact with a few Arsenal players and staff. So they're, um, you know, they're self, um, self quarantine, shall we say, um, for the next 14 days or whatever, right? So this bodes the question surely the Olympiacos players should be doing the same because he's come in contact with them as he's the owner of them. Um, but they're taking on Wolves tomorrow night or tonight, sorry. Um, so I don't kind of get it. Um, I think it's a bit of a weird one. Um, but this guy, Nuno Espirito Santo, what a manager. Uh, they've played the most games in Europe this season, I think, total, total um, in terms of league, cup, stuff like that. And they're still as fit as a fiddle. And they're so high up the table, they, they should have and could have gone full for a point at the weekend, but they drew with Brighton. But um, I do think they'll beat Olympiacos, both legs as well. Um, Olympiacos are not that great. Um, Arsenal beat them over in uh, Greece. Obviously, they beat us at the Emirates. But I do think uh, Spirito Santo will get a result in that game. I do think they'll go through. And um, he's done a fantastic job. What a manager. Um, come up from the Championship, got in Europa League. Their season started this season in July. We are now in the middle of March nearly, and they are still going strong at the top, top four is possible for them. Um, and obviously, Europa League final is possible for them. So good luck to him. Um, congratulations to Wolves. And I bet the Wolves fans are absolutely buzzing right now. But um, but yeah, sadly, I won't be doing a watch along for that game. Like I said, I'm shattered, by the way. So I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thank you very much to everyone who took part in the watch along. I appreciate it. Real ones. Um, and everybody who watched it on Facebook. Don't forget, I will be back. I'll be streaming from Malaga Airport earlier than five o'clock. Uh, it'll probably be about half three, four o'clock. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Have a wicked Thursday. I'm out of here. Latest, peeps.